Hello and welcome to the fifth season of Style It Up, where we take you inside the fashion world of the New England area. I'm your host, Olga Medvedev. Before we get started, Style It Up would like to thank all of our fans for all your support through the seasons. We will continue to bring you the latest insider scoop of the local fashion scene. Let's start the show. Our reporter Jimmy Guzman is here to kick off the season with his segment, Designer in the Making. Jimmy searches for emerging designers whose work delivers promise and success and whose artistry enables them to hone creativity for doing what they love. Let's meet the designer in the making. Hi, this is Jimmy, and we're here with another segment of Designer in the Making, and I'm here speaking with the fabulous Melina Laguerre. Hi, Melina, how's it going? Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I went to Framingham State College. I graduated in 2009, okay. and um, I'm just basically kind of freelancing right now. Freelancing? Okay, so yeah. wait, what did you study at Framingham? I studied fashion design. Fashion design, mm -hmm. awesome. And I heard you had a minor in art, studio art? Yes, oh, I did. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. So how did you get into designing? Well, um, I kind of discovered that I wanted to be a designer when I was um, in seventh grade. I decided, well, I love to use my hands, so I want to do something that I can use my hands. So. Do you remember like what one of your first pieces were like? Well, um, I started making clothes to wear to school, and my mom helped me. So um, my mom sewed, so that's kind of where I got the inspiration oh, to sew. Wow. So. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Is your mother a fashion designer as well? No. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. 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 Cool. So, um, what? Is, well, how would you describe your pieces? Like, when you design, like, is there a certain look that you think about? Or? Well, I really like to um, kind of go back and use um, stuff like old time pieces, incorporate that into what I'm making now. Okay. Like, I love portrait collars, and I like big sleeves, and um, uh, I like to use wolvens usually okay. in my designs. So, so it's kind of like old marrying, like modern, like, yes, okay, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, that's and I see that you have a few pieces here, so let's yes. take a look at them right okay. now. Tell us a little bit about them. All right. Okay. So, like I said, I like portrait colors. This one has a portrait color, and it has, it has ruching on the side. It's so really it, beautiful. It gives a really nice, um, clean look, and then a little bit of, um, detail okay and then this one has lots of ruffles and has zippers on both sides and it's just a fun little short piece that you can wear with high boots I don't know. can I ask you a question so when you're designing something like this like how do you make this like how do you create that detail well you use um, in within the princess princess seam you will have to make um, kind of like um, darts but instead of darts, darts you use okay. do pleats Okay. And this, you have to kind of make it fuller than it would usually be, and then you have to kind of scale down from there, and then you can all fit it in. <laughs> oh wow! Well, Melina, I have to say your stuff is really, really beautiful. Thank you. Um, so, like, just so, what do you have in store for 2011? Well, um, more freelancing. Try to get into some fashion shows, maybe. Oh, okay. And I heard a rumor that you designed your wedding dress. I did. Oh, that is yes. So yes. amazing. <laughs> okay. All right, Melina. Well, thank you so much. It was thank so you. good talking to you. Um, we're really excited, and I hope 2011 is a really big year for you. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you so much, folks. This is Jimmy, and again, it's been another segment of Designer in the Making. Thank you. Thanks, Jimmy. We will definitely be out on the lookout for Alina, and we wish you the best, Alina. If you are a designer new to the local fashion scene and would like to be featured on our show, send us an email with a couple of sketches and photos along with your story to styleitup411 at hotmail.com. Once again, that is styleitup411 at hotmail.com. We'll take a quick break and we'll meet you right back here on Style It Up. Every designer has something that they are recognized for. Jimmy has his shoes, Louis has his bags, and Victoria, well, she's got her secrets. But there's a designer who is synonymous with his one-of-a-kind accessory, the scarf. That designer is Hermes. Though his collection includes famous handbags, perfumes, and clothing, it's his intricate scarves that are sought after by savvy fashionistas worldwide. What makes Hermes different is the company's unconventional rise to haute couture status. 
The company was founded by Terry Hermes in 1837. Hermes started out as a saddlery company, creating fine riding equipment for noblemen and royalty. Thus, Hermes' logo became the horse and carriage. Hermes then ventured into designing accessories. In 1928, Hermes introduced their one-of-a-kind handmade masterpiece, the silk scarf. The scarves were such a hit that in, eight, that in 1937, a scarf factory was established in Lyon. Thus, women worldwide began their quest for the silk accessory, paying very high prices. So what is it about the scarf that makes it so sought after? Well, for starters, it's very hard to get your hands on one. Only two scarf collections are released per year. Also, every single Hermes scarf is hand printed using multiple silk screens and the hems are all hand stitched. Each scarf is unique but has to follow certain specific guidelines. A scarf must measure 90 centimeters square and weigh 65 grams and has to be woven from a silk of 250 mulberry moth cocoons. Did I mention these scarves are very expensive? Well, a new Hermes design can set you back $320. That's quite an investment for a scarf. Scarf owners have gotten very creative about sporting these works of art. Women wear them around the neck, as a headscarf, halters, or deck out their expensive Hermes bags. Princess Grace Kelly used her scarf as a sling for a broken arm. So resourceful. Devoted fans of their Hermes scarf include Queen Elizabeth II, Audrey Hepburn, and the famous Jackie O. Today's fa famous girl gals include J Sarah Jessica Parker, Hillary Clinton, and Madonna. They've all been photographed wearing the Hermes scarf. Since 1937, Hermes ha has produced over 25,000 designs. Today, an Hermes scarf is sold somewhere in the world every 25 seconds. That is a lot of warm necks. Hermes is also very well known for his handbag bags like the Birkin and the Kelly bag, named of course after Grace Kelly. They also produce necktie, neckties made from the same fine silk as used in the scarves, perfumes and clothing. But there's nothing out there quite like this exclusive accessory that makes Hermes fashion so unique. Now that is a lot of power for 60 grams of silk. For Pave the Runway, I'm Olga Mendez. Pave the Runway features designers of the past and present who have made a major contribution to the fashion industry today and for the future. Welcome back to Style It Up. I'm your host, Olga Manudev. We have another great story for you. Style It Up was able to get an interview with a noted designer, Roland Moray, when he was in town to unveil his latest collection at Louis Boston. Althea had the great opportunity to, to sit down and chat with him. Let's take a look. Eu quis amar, mas tive medo e quis salvar. Alright, I'm here speaking with Roland Murray. And um, can you give a little quick little background about yourself and um, how long have you been designing? Uh, I am Roland Murray. I've been designing now since oh, too many years. <laughs> um, I'm a drapist. I, I drape. I work in three dimensions. Uh, I create my own technique. It's all about the female form and uh, I'm quite well known for my dresses. Ah. So what is your inspiration for this particular collection that you just released? My inspiration for this collection is quite the same one in last season and the one before. It's about women and the contradiction to be a woman. And that's I think uh, there is enough of it to be inspired every season. So for this particular collection, can you describe the type of woman you designed for? Like who is your muse in the look? I don't work with muse and I don't, I, I really work most of the time with the technique that I try to bring every season in a new direction and, uh, and opening new doors. And this year I went to more uh, bold draping, quite, quite minimalist but with a lot of sensuality. And you can actually see that with the pieces that we had seen here today at, um, at Louise. And um, for your men's line, how long have you been creating that? The men's line is, is, is quite a newborn baby. It's quite oh. soft, something of nurture. It's the first season. Uh, it's a growing situation. It's quite amazing to learn a long mender. I'm the first guinea pig to, to be with it. That's been, I try them, I wear them, and uh, if it works, it's amazing. If it doesn't work, it's going back to on the table. So what made you venture into you want to do men's wear now? Uh, some a lot, 
some of my female customers ask me what will you do for men, it will be quite interesting and, uh, and that's where more or less it started, but the main thing, I need to have clothes for myself, that's me, that's ah. I was quite selfish. <laughs> It's what is a good selfish though, yeah. if you think about it. Yes. So, which is easier for you to create and um, do menswear or women's wear? It's quite it's quite a different approach, but there is still the the, the same the same research of, of details and, and 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 personal touch. Uh, men's are about small details. They more shy. That means you have to bring them on a journey in a different way that you would bring a woman. Uh, I think women is bolder and, 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 and will push further. But at the end, I love the concept of a man and a woman as a couple, and, and it's a great rhythm between the two of them. And you spoke about your technique with the draping. Why is that particular aspect like your favorite aspect to use in terms of your collections that we see? That technique is, is mine. That's mean, you know, it's some people are born with blue eyes or the curly hair. It's my technique is mine. and, uh, and uh, I even don't judge it. It's, it's quite it's what it is, and, and mm -hmm. I, I go for it. It's a very very beautiful um, to see the women, and it's like you you would think that you created their outfit just for them, and um, it's quite beautiful. So, what advice would you give to young designers that are coming into this industry, and they know it's a long journey to get to where you are? So, what's that good word that just helps them along to know keep going at I, I, it? I think the best trick I can give them is try to find your balance between creativity and commerciality. It, it, Define yourself between the two of them is really important and try a trick. Put on, on the paper the three people you love as designer and don't copy them. Mm. And who are your favorite designers as well? I've got mentors, but I don't have especially a favorite designer. But Chanel for me is, is a mentor. Her life is, is, is quite a mentoring for my life. All right, and what are your big plans for 2011? Uh, my my first flagship store in uh, in London, which Wonderful. is going to be on in Mayfair, and it's going to be on, on uh, a story of on, on six floors, and two of these floors will be for retail. Wow, fabulous! So, Roland, thank you so much, and wish you all the best for 2011. Thank you. To thank you. Too. Thanks, Althea. Don't go anywhere. We'll take a quick break, and when we return, we'll introduce you to a young designer who is making a name for herself in the Boston area. Stay tuned. Are you on Facebook? Well, so is Style It Up. Join our fan page and get the latest scoop on Style It Up, chat with us about all things fashion, and find out when we're airing new episodes. Just go to Facebook.com, search Style It Up, like us, and you're done. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you on Facebook. Welcome back to Style It Up, where we introduce you to designers right here in the New England area. Today's designer is the youngest to ever appear on our show, and we're so excited to have her with us. Isabella Brando was born and raised in Dorchester, currently a junior at Lexington High School. She started designing and sewing clothes just at the age of 14. She has since participated in multiple fashion shows and created her own clothing line, Bella Rose. Here to share her story and her collection, please welcome Isabella of Bella Rose. Isabella, hello. Thank you so much for coming on our show. Sit down, let's have a little chat. So you are currently a junior in high school and uh, only 17, and you've already made quite a name for yourself. So what made you, what, what was it that, that made you want to become a fashion designer? Well, um, about three years ago, during, I took a summer program at a local community center, and um, there I learned how to sew and learned the whole aspect of being a fashion designer and from then on I just kind of pretty much just took a liking to it I guess and from like after the program ended I just ended up sewing on my own and making my own clothing. That's I mean that's pretty wonderful it's great where you can take a class and really kind of grab inspiration from that. What inspires you? What, what I mean if you look around what kind of inspiration do you draw for your collection and your clothing? Um, mainly just like casual wear. Um, most of my clothing is just for nightlife or going out to parties and whatnot, so it's not really anything like 
too extravagant or too um, fancy or anything. It's just simple clothes that you could wear on an everyday basis, whether it be casual wear like or going out. So, well, we have a little Bella's vision over here, yes. and I, I have to say, I was looking at it earlier, and it's it's great to have a little board that kind of guides you through life. Do you want to? To tell us a little bit about what we have going on here? Yeah, so pretty much this is my vision board and what I want to achieve um, being a fashion designer. So I put fashion design in the middle because that's my main goal. And here I actually just put um, like the steps that I need to take in order to achieve my goal of being a, a high fashion designer. So I said the simple things as graduating high school, because as you said, I'm still only in high school. So graduating high school, I definitely want to go to college and major in fashion design. And then I want to intern with a high-end um, fashion designer. Do you have any in mind? Who, who's your favorite designer? Definitely Vera Wang, um, Donna Karen. Those are like my main streams right now. And hopefully I can intern with them soon. Yeah, absolutely. So and then I have sell clothes in high retail stores. So basically, I just want to come up with my own um, I, I want to come up with my own name brand mm -hmm. and then appear in well-known fashion magazines such as Teen Vogue and Vogue and participate in Fashion Week, whether it be Boston Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week, New York, whatever it is. I just want to be in Fashion Week and then have a celebrity wear my clothing. So, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, you're still young, so all of these goals are pretty achievable and, yeah. you know, pre pretty realistic. It's very, very exciting. Um, so right now you're currently uh, you're currently in, in high school. You have one more year left. Yes. And do you have do you want to go to New York or stay in Boston? What do you? What do no, you I definitely want to move and go to New York and go to school in New York and most of the schools I'm applying to. Well, definitely are in New make York. sure that you know once you're a big star, come back to Boston and, <laughs> and teach the women of Boston how to you know dress properly. <laughs> Not that we don't know yeah. how to dress properly, but you know. Every little we love when a local fashion designer, you know, goes out there and kind mm -hmm. of really makes a name for them, themselves. And we really believe in you because, like I said, you're still very young and you have a lot of potential. And I mean, you have some of your pieces here to show. Yep. Okay. Let's let's bring those out and we can chat a little bit about those. Okay. So I actually have some models with us. So okay. the first model coming up is a core, um, and a core is just wearing a basic one sleeve dress. And pretty much the material is just lycra and just a little detail on the bottom with the whole glitter aspect just to make it pop since it's a solid color dress and it's mainly for nightwear so. Yeah, no, definitely the, the little pop is important. You know what, I've noticed a lot of that one shoulder thing going yeah. on right now. It's very, it's a great look and I think it's kind of slimming and, and does a lot for the figure. It's beautiful and I like the, the color as well. Yep. Very, very nice. So thank you, Accor. Thank you so much. And then up next we have Pelea, another model of mine who is wearing a similar material like her, but just of it's thicker and um, it's purple, obviously. And this is mainly for nightwear, but I mean you can wear it with casual casual wear as Pelea is wearing with leggings, or you could take off leggings and just wear it to a party or something. So yeah, I actually do like the leggings look. I'm such a huge fan of leggings. Yes. Yeah. My friends daily. <laughs> Everything I pair with leggings, I'm like leggings. Why not? Right. Let's let's wear it. No, I really like that look as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you also have a um, a little bit of a closet, the designer's closet, yes. as we like to call it. And you have some looks over there. So let's take yep. a look and try to put those pieces a little bit. Okay. So the first piece right here is just the really high waisted skirt. And it's just pretty much a long skirt. And what's in season right now, a long skirt. So like, I could have made this short, but I made it long. I'm not that tall, but yeah, it's supposed to look like this, so. Very cool, and you know, what, you know what's funny about long skirts like that? You can also always bring them up. Yeah, exactly. Put a little belt and actually make it a, a dress. Exactly. You know? so. Yeah, florals are really in for this season. Yeah, and definitely I wanted to go with the bright colors since it yeah. is my spring collection. Actually, so. I actually really, really like that. Yep, and then um, the next piece that we have is another skirt. And this is kind of a solid mix with a color, and it's full school oh, like I this. Love so that. I absolutely love that. Thank That's you. Great. So this is mainly casual wear. Um, you could probably dress it up to yeah go to a party or something. But yeah, absolutely. You can wear it with a little tank top, or you know, put a little bit more bling on it. And yep. You're good to go for a party. Absolutely. And my last piece is actually a dress, and it's kind of like an African print. 
And I really love this dress. Oh, so dress. it's kind of like the love whole it. sleeveless, one sleeve yeah. thing. Great material too for like the summer. It's yeah. Perfect. So yeah. once again, this, this one sleeve thing. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> I really like that. Thank you. Well, I really enjoyed your collection. Thank you so much for coming out. I have to say, I have to say it. Like I said, you you are the youngest, and it's very good. And I, I would like for you to come back and tell us about your progress because you know it's it, when you meet a young designer, you definitely want to know what happens to them, and you wish them all the best. And here at Style Up, we wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you Thank for you. having me. No, it's our pleasure. And once again, do you have a website or somewhere we can get in? Our fans can get in touch with you. Um, mainly through Facebook. Just look me up, Bella Rose, and should be able to find me just facebook.com slash Bella Rose. So. Okay, great. Well, you heard it, facebook.com slash Bella Rose. Unfortunately, we are all out of time for today. I want to thank our guest, Isabella Brando of Bella Rose. And of course, as always, we're thanking you, the viewer, and our great makeup artist, Pucci. Before I go, I want to leave you with a fashion quote from Giorgio Armani. The difference between style and fashion is quality. Well said, Mr. Armani. And until next time, I'm Olga Mendeleev.